السلام عليكم اصدقائي ومرحبا بكم الى درس جديد على قناتكم ماي انجليش كلاس روم في درس اليوم سنحاول ان شاء الله قراءه بعض الصفحات من قصه قصيره للمبتدئين اوكي حتى يتمكنوا من ضبط مجموعه من المفردات وكذلك مجموعه من التعابير باللغه الانجليزيه في المره الاولى ساحاول قراءه هذه القصه بدون ان اعرض عليكم النص مكتوبا وفي المره الثانيه ساعرض عليكم النص مكتوبا ونحاول قراءه القصه من جديد وكذلك شرحها باللغه العربيه حتى يتسنى للجميع فهم مفرداتها if you are ready let us get started القصة القصيرة التي اخترت لكم اليوم هي The Blue Beard The Blue Beard Good يعني اللحية الزرقاء The Blue Beard اللحية الزرقاء Once upon a time there was a very rich man His wealth was gold and silver But his blue beard made him look ugly and the people ran away when they saw him The neighbor of this rich man was a woman who had two very beautiful daughters. This man asked to marry one of her daughters, but none agreed to marry him. This refusal was not only because he was blue-bearded, but also because he had married many women formerly, and no one knew their fates. One day, this man invited the mother and her two daughters to spend a week in one of his country houses. Soon after, some dances and feasts, this, the younger girl began to notice that the man's beard was not very blue and that he is an honest man. Therefore, she changed her mind and wished to accept his offer. Soon after their return to the city, marriage was carried out. One day, the blue-bearded man told his wife that he was obliged to travel. He gave her the house keys before traveling and cautioned her not to enter the small room. Otherwise, he will be angry with her. The friends of this wife waited anxiously for the absence of the blue-bearded man to visit their friend at her house or at her home. They began to wander through all the rooms and envied their friend's happiness. The wife wanted to know the contents of the small room careless of her husband's caution. No sooner had her friend's lips than the wife of the blue-bearded man took the key and opened the small room. Trembling. What a frightening scene. The floor of the room was covered with clotted blood. The blood of many dead women hang on the walls. The wife's fear became so great that the room key fell off her hand. After recovering her consciousness, she picked the key up closed the door and went up to her room, seriously trembled. When she saw the key stained with blood, she tried to clean it, but in vain. The blue-bearded man came back home. His wife was happy to see him and did her best to show her happiness. Next day, the husband asked his wife to give him the keys. She did so, but her hand was trembling. He guessed what had happened and asked, What is the key of the small room? Why it isn't with the other keys? Once upon a time, there was a very rich man. His wealth was gold and silver, but his blue beard made him look ugly and the people ran away when they saw him. The neighbor of this rich man was a, a woman who had two, uh, two uh, very beautiful daughters. 
This man asked to marry one of her daughters, but none agreed to marry him. This refusal was not only because he was blue-bearded, but also because he had married many women formerly, and no one knew their fates. One day, this man invited the women and her two daughters to spend a week in one of his country houses. Soon after some dances and feasts, the younger girl began to notice that the woman on the man's beard was not very blue and that he is an honest man. Therefore, she changed her mind and wished to accept his offer. Soon after their return to the city, marriage was carried out. One day, the blue-bearded man told his wife that he was obliged to travel. He gave her the house keys before traveling and cautioned her not to enter the small room. Otherwise, he will be angry with her. The friends of this wife waited anxiously for the absence of the blue-bearded man to visit their friend at her home. They began to wander through all the rooms and envied their friend's happiness. The wife wanted wanted to know the content of the small room, careless of her husband's caution. No sooner had her friends left than the wife of the blue-bearded man took the key and opened the small room trembling. What a frightening scene. The floor of the room was covered with clotted blood. The blood of many dead women hang on the walls. The wife's fear became so great that the room key fell off her hand. After recovering her consciousness, she picked up or she picked the key up, closed the door, and went up to her room seriously trembled. When she saw the key stained with blood, she tried to clean it, but in vain. The blue-bearded man came back home. His wife was happy to see him and did her best to show her happiness. Next day, the husband asked his wife to give him the keys. She did so, but her hand was trembling. He guessed what had happened and asked, What is the key of the small room? Why it isn't with the other keys? Now let us explain the, the, this uh, part of the story. Okay, for the third time, I'm going to read the story, the story again. للمرة الثالثة غادي نقرأ القصة وهذا المرة غادي نحاولوا نوقفوا على الكلمات وعن شرح الكلمات باللغة العربية. Once upon a time, once upon a time بمعنى في أحد الأيام. Once upon a time في إحدى الأيام. There was a very rich man. كان هناك رجل غني. His wealth was gold and silver. ثروته كانت من الذهب والفضة. But his blue beard made him look ugly and the people ran away ran when they saw him. ولكن لحيته الزرقاء تجعل منه من من منظره وشكله مظهره منظرا مظهرا قبيحا وتجعل الناس يهربون منه عندما يرونه. The neighbor of this rich man was a woman who had two very beautiful daughters. جار وكي جارة هذا الرجل الغني كانت امرأة لديها ابنتان جميلتان. This man asked to marry one of her daughter. هذا الرجل طلب الزواج من إحدى ابنتيها. But none agreed to marry him. ولكن كلاهما لم توافق على الزواج منه. This refusal had a رفض was not only because he was blue-bearded. لم يكن فقط لأنه كان ذو لحية زرقاء but also because he had married many women formerly and no one knew their fate. ولكن لأنه تزوج مجموعة من النساء سابقا ولا أحد يعلم بمصيرهم. One day this man invited the mother and her daughter to spend a week in one of his country's house. Country house. يعني في أحد الأيام هذا الرجل طلب من المرأة وابنتها 
لأن يقضوا أسبوعا في إحدى منازله في ضواحي المدينة in the country house soon after some dances and feasts مباشرة بعد بعد ال يعني ال ال الولائم وبعد كذلك ال الرقصات the younger girl began to notice ال الفتاة يعني ال البالغة أو ال الأكبر سنا the younger girl began to notice began to notice that the man's beard was not very long بدأت تلاحظ بأن لحية هذا الرجل ليست زرقاء and he is an honest man وبأنه رجل مخلص therefore لهذا she changed her mind and wished to accept his offer لهذا غيرت رأيها changed her mind and wished وتمنت لو أنها قبلت بالزواج منه soon after they returned to the city مباشرة بعد رجوعهم إلى المدينة marriage was carried out بدأ الاحتفال وبدأت احتفالات الزواج. One day the blue bearded man told his wife that he was obliged to travel. في أحد الأيام أخبر هذا الزوج زوجته بأنه سمجبر على ال يعني السفر. He gave her the house keys before traveling and cautioned her to enter the small room. He gave her he gave her أعطاها مفاتيح ال المنزل. وحذرها cautioned her وحذرها بأن لا تدخل إلى الغرفة الصغيرة otherwise he will be angry with her وإلا سيكون يكون أو سيكون غاضبا عليها the friends of this wife waited أصدقاء وصديقات هذه الزوجة ينتظرون بفارغ الصبر with waited anxiously for the absence of the blue bearded man يعني غياب هذا الرجل ذو اللحية الزرقاء to visit their friend at her home لزيارة صديقتهم في منزلها They began to wander through all the rooms عندما يعني زاروا صديقتهم في منزلها بدأوا يعني يكتشفون المكان من غرفة إلى أخرى and invade their friend's happiness وبدأوا يحسون بالحسد والغيرة تجاه صديقتهم The wife wanted to know the content of the small room. هذه الزوجة أصابها الفضول لمعرفة ما يوجد بداخل هذه الغرفة الصغيرة. The small room, careless, careless of her husband, cautious. It means بمعنى غير مبالية لتحذير زوجها. No sooner had her friends left than the wife of the blue bearded man took the key and opened the small room, trembling. مباشرة بعد مغادرة مغادرة صديقاتها من المنزل يعني ذهبت و وفتحت هذه الغرفة باب هذه الغرفة الصغيرة ترامبلين اوكي يعني بكل بخوف وكذلك وهي ترتعش ترامبلين وات افرايتنينج سين كم هو منظر او مشهد مخيف The floor of the room was covered with clotted blood The floor, يعني أرضية هذه ال الغرفة كانت مغطاة مغطاة بالدم الخاتر المخطر. Okay, the blood of many dead women. دم مجموعة من النساء hang on the walls المعلقة في ال على الجدران. The wife's fear became so great that the room key fell off her hand. خوف هذه الزوجة. أصبح أو كثر خوفها وازداد خوفها إلى درجة أنها سقط منها مفتاح أوكي من يدها المفتاح مفتاح الغرفة after recovering her consciousness يعني بعدما استرجعت قواها واسترجعت وعيها she picked the key up أخذت أوكي من على أرضية الغرفة المفتاح Closed the door and went up to her room, seriously troubled. وصعدت إلى غرفتها وهي ترتعش. Troubled. When she saw the key stained with blood, عندما رأت رأت المفتاح وهو ملطخ بالدماء, she tried to clean it. حاولت أن أن يعني أن أن تنظفه, but in vain. ولكن فشلت في ذلك. 
The blue bearded man came back home. الرجل ذو اللحية الزرقاء رجع إلى البيت. His wife was happy to see him. زوجته كانت سعيدة لرؤيته and did her best to show her happiness. وبدأت تفعل يعني المستحيل ل لإظهار فرحتها. Next day, في اليوم الموالي, the husband asked his wife to give him the keys. طلب الزوج من زوجته أن تعطيه المفاتيح المنزل. She did so. فعلت كذلك. But her hand was troubling. ولكن يداها كانت ترتعش. He guessed what had happened. الرجل فطن إلى ما ما وقع. Okay, فطن إلى ما وقع. عندما رأى زوجته ترتعش. And asked, وأسأل وسألها, what is the key of the small room? What is the key of the small room? أنا هي أنا هو مفتاح الغرفة الصغيرة. Why it isn't with the other keys? لماذا هو لا يوجد مع المفاتيح الأخرى? Okay, so we come to the end of this part of the short story. يعني وصلنا لنهاية هذا الجزء الأول من هذه القصة. إذا في الفيديو الماجي إن شاء الله هذه نكمل القصة دي لنا بس نشوف النهاية كيف كيف كانت نهاية هذه القصة. Thank you for watching and I like you to wait for the next part of this short story. Goodbye.